Sometimes you find there's a need to withdraw cash from your group's bank account so you can make change at an event. It's important to record this correctly in MoneyMinder so you don't overstate your income or expenses. Here's how we suggest recording this. Start by clicking on the banking icon in the toolbar. Next, click Add Bank Account. Name this account Cash on Hand and give it a starting balance of $0. Then click Save. When the time comes to withdraw cash for an event, record it as a transfer between your accounts. Here are the steps for that. Again, start with the banking icon. This time, click New Transfer. Using the drop down menu, select the bank account you are taking the funds from on the left, and then select the bank account you're putting the money into on the right. In this example, we're going to take money from our checking account and put it in our cash on hand account. We'll enter the date that the money is coming out of the bank in the date field. Let's say we need $100 in cash at an event to make change. We'll put $100 in the amount field. For the reference field, we'll put in the check number for the check we wrote and took to the bank. And lastly, you can use the memo for any extra details or context if you'd like. Now click Save. When we look back at the home page, we can see our checking account balance has decreased by $100, and the cash on hand account has increased to a balance of $100. When your event is over and you're ready to redeposit the cash you took out, we'll just do another transfer in MoneyMinder. This time, you'll reverse the previous one, so it'll come from the cash on hand account and go into the checking account. Here's the most important thing to know. When you're ready to put the money back into the bank, deposit it separately from any other money you might be depositing. This makes it very clear to anyone looking at your accounts that the money was redeposited. It also prevents you from overstating your earnings by the amount of cash on hand. If you record cash on hand as a withdrawal deposit combination, you will overstate your income and expenses, which could impact your IRS reporting and possibly even the form you are required to file. To get more help on this or other topics, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos or visit our help center by clicking on the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing MoneyMinder.